When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. lot of equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and at higher skill levels you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. Doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage a door takes before being... The lock strength tells you how many lockpicks will be required to pick the lock. Some doors have an infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That means you have to find a key. with the right mouse button, just like you activate a data cube or any object in the world. resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi-tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device.
pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. Get someone down there immediately to revive Private Winslow. Move on to the next area. You can bet this won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and find the exit on the other side. Just press F12 by default. Some bioelectric energy getting through the dark area, for example, this contraption can charge you back up. <laughs> 